Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Pompey. I'm here at the Media Lab at MIT, where I invented the audio spotlight. The audio spotlight really gives you control over sound that you never had before. If you think of a light bulb, and you turn on a light bulb, and the light goes everywhere. But the audio spotlight, in contrast, acts more like a flashlight. You shine it right at somebody, and they can hear it clearly. You can whisper in somebody's ear from 50 feet away and make them think they're right next to you. The sound that you hear is not created by this disc. I use ultrasound that excites the air and causes the sound to be generated in midair. Well, we've heard audio spotlights broadcast sound the length of over two football fields. And when I show it to people who've never seen it before and their jaw drops and they say, wow, that's cool. When I was young, my parents couldn't keep me away from junk. I would find old TVs, old radios, old things. I would take them apart, see how they worked. Then when I got a little older, I got interested in music. And I started playing musical instruments and learning about music and sound synthesis using keyboards and synthesizers. And I found that working in audio and acoustics was really a good way to match both of those interests that I had. So what we're working on now in engineering is making the electronics and signal processing circuitry less expensive so that more people can afford audio spotlights and more people can use them in their homes or in their offices or wherever they like. We're also working on more powerful versions that allow you to have sound loud enough to be heard in a concert hall environment or loud enough to be at a ball game. We've been working with a lot of automotive companies in order to create new sound systems for the interior of the car. So imagine if you got to listen to mu your music in your seat and your sibling could listen to their music in their seat and your parents could listen to music in the front seat. None of you have to listen to each other's music and there's no more fighting about who has control over the radio. It feels great to be able to accomplish something that I really wanted to accomplish. I think when you find something that you like, especially when you find that you like science and you like math, I think it's really important that you go with it. Einstein once said, if you think something's impossible, don't disturb the person doing it. Joe's Audio Spotlight 